Well, well, well. So good news, good news, good news, and some bad news, bad news, bad news. Hey, there's a large rock in the middle of the road. That could be bad news if you're not paying attention. Good news on Ryan's bike. Ryan got word today that his bike was indeed under warranty. So they are sending a replacement crank arm and spindle or whatever, the whole assembly, for his bike. Don't know yet when that should arrive and after it arrives, don't know when they will have it installed, but hopefully they don't charge him to install it. That'd be kind of a dick move, right? Hey, thanks for buying the bike from us. We're sorry that we sold you a defective bike, but we need $30 from you to put this crank arm on. Hopefully that's not the case. Ew. And yeah, so that's the good news. In other news, I think I've talked about it before. If I haven't mentioned it or you're a newer subscriber, you may not know it. Part of my job for the company that I work for is ensuring that the company is in compliance with the Code of Federal Regulations that is enforced by the FDA. Well, today we had a visit from an FDA officer. So for the next couple of days, my life's gonna revolve around that, which always just ups the amount of stress so I'm not too sure what my schedule is going to be like as far as recording, but it might be a little bit hokey or inconsistent, I should say. I'll definitely try to maintain my normal video schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Do my best. Um. What else do I got for you? Uh, oh, I wanted to give a return shout out to a buddy of mine. He's a fellow cycling recording blogger guy. He tried. He tried to roll smoke. He tried to roll coal. He's driving a Ford 6.0, also known as a six point blow. If you're familiar with Ford products, they tend not to work for very long, specifically their diesel engines. They've only got one that's actually been pretty successful. It's the 7.3. It hasn't been manufactured now for quite some time. And they've gone through several renditions. One being the 6.0, the other being a 6.4 which was the worst of all of the generations by far. Their current model is a 6.7, which seems to be doing okay, but you know. could have gone should have gone didn't go why didn't I go I hesitated that's what happens in life when you hesitate missed opportunities we'll go after this white car don't cut that corner thank you she almost cut that corner I could see her turning and then she corrected her angle of attack Ah, where was I? Oh yeah, I was talking crap about Fords. But just before that, I was talking about Prairie Cycling Cycle Vlog. 
he's a uh, dude out in the Chicago area he does all kinds of cool stuff on his bike seems like he's a little more focused on training um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff I'm gonna put a link down to his channel below he's got uh, pretty good number of videos out there uh, he tends to do voiceovers meaning that he talks over the top of the videos after they're recorded but anyway yeah he's a cool guy give him a check out or check him out I should say don't give him a check out I mean unless like you work at a grocery store and you happen to be checking him out or if you're a super hot chick and you want to check him out there you go I can already tell it's going to be one of those crazy driver days. Anyway guys, how about this? I promise to cut the video off right here, right now. Talk to y'all later. Take care.